Hello, this video is to show you guys how to install an electronic uh, digital fuel gauge into a Yamaha FJR 1300 2005. Okay, if you have a similar bike, you can install this gauge into your bike. Nope, we're not gonna start into this bike. This is my friend's bike. Okay, we will be install the gauge into this bike right here they are similar bike okay this one is just a converted into a street fighter this is my bike and this is my friend's bike fancy bike so originally the bike looked like this it's big and heavy but this is my bike so I cut the suffering everything and I converted the the battery in the back um, under the seat okay so normally the battery is right here and I remove everything I'm hiding all the coil everything in here so this is my Street Fighter FJR 1300 2005 so let's get to it so I bought a Intel electronic uh, fuel gauge so they make a lot of gauges and awesome gauge so I bought the fuel okay I bought the fuel gauge so this is how you install this is the uh, this is the cluster I'm a my plan is to remove this cluster I'm not gonna keep this okay I will run without the cluster so what I had to do is I had to install this gauge this is the fuel gauge and then I had to install a temperature gauge so I can have temperature know my water temperature how hot the engine is and the fuel level now how do you do that this is the main plug that will go into the cluster okay now very simple very easy a lot of people ask me how to do it so i'm going to show you guys how to do it okay now if you look under the tank okay there's a fuel pump and a sending unit now the sending unit is the white plug i connected a wire into the sending unit so how do you know it's the sending unit wire so what you have to do is you have to use what I call a multimeter here. So you set it into uh, a continuity, okay? Make sure you set it into continuity. When continuity come, it will beat, okay? When when they travel to each other, they will beat, okay? So how do you know that? Now, if you look at these plug closely, let me see here. Oh, sorry, the zoom. There is numbers nine to sixteen. So 9 to 16 at the bottom and 1 to 8 is on top. Okay, so the center unit is the number 10. How do you I how do I know that? Because this is how it go. When you touch it, it will be. See? See? So one is connect here from the green and white wire to the center unit. And then pin number 10 on the plug right here. So they will beat. So that's how you know as the sending unit come all the way from the pink uh, from the tank into the plug. So that's how you find the sending unit. Now, how do you know the power? Okay. How do you find out power? Very simple. How do you find out the ground and the power? You do the same thing, okay? I'll show you how to do the power, how to find a power wire. Okay, so this is how you find the power. You just, instead of put it into the plug on the center unit, you take it and you put it into any ground or the battery ground, okay? The black side into the battery ground. And then the other side, you set this to volt, to 12 volt. This time, now, the, the power is pin 16 is the blue one that's the power they have a couple wire there that's power but it stay on all the time you don't want the one that stay on all the time where constantly power coming to your gauge you don't want to do that you want the one that when you sh when you turn off the ignitions the power turn off too so pin 16 is the power that when you turn off it you know the power shut off itself so how do you know that okay now if you see the gauge when I touch this, the gauge have no power. Okay. Let's okay. So let's say turn on the ignition. K. 
Okay, now when I turn on the ignition and I touch it, right, connect it, now that's 12 volt. Okay, how do you know that? Let's see. Now let's say when I turn off the ignition, the power will stop. Turn on the ignition, now this is the wire that you want the power. Okay, very simple. Pen number 10 is the sended unit wire. Pen 16, that's the power. Okay. Okay, this is the last wire that, that should be done. On the ground wire is the last wire. Now, you leave that touching the negative, okay, of the battery. Any chassis of the ground, I mean, any chassis of the bike that considered as a ground. Well, normally people know ground is black, okay, so ground is black. But I don't want to have extra wire ground connect to the chassis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect everything into the main plug here to make it look nicer. Okay, so how do you find that out? Pen number two is ground. Okay, and here is the last stage. Finally, I installed on the handlebar on my bike. Okay, so let's see how it works. Yeah, it's working. Now it's measuring my fuel. Yep, that's about right. It is correct. I have about 30%, 31%, 32% of fuel in there, so which is right. That's correct. So here we go. We'll see you next time, next video.